Hello YouTube, this is Jackie Roberts One. I'm just coming to you guys with another video. As you guys know from the video prior to this, I did flatten out my hair today. It's been two months and almost two weeks since I flat ironed my hair. I know the video says different, but I uploaded the video a lot uh, way after the fact that I flat ironed my hair. So, But um, I do want to let you guys know the products that I use to achieve my style. As you guys can see, let's just get into my hair. My hair is pulled back. And the part is still there. And I just have a very low ponytail trying to keep my hair from, uh, well, there's no really no way of keeping my hair from reverting, but keeping my hair um, pretty much stretched until later on. And it's, it's fairly cold outside, and I probably won't be going outside until much later. But um, I do want to keep my hair stretched out. Um, Alright, so anyways, the products that I use to do my hair. For one, I did blow dry my hair last night after I deep conditioned using a mixture of this conditioner, my, excuse me, my herbal essence conditioner, and my shea moisture leave-in. Um, I did add um, about a tablespoon of um, honey. 100% pure honey to that deep condition, as well as um, a tablespoon of castor oil. Um, I twisted my hair up and put it in four um, twists, and I used my clips to clamp the hair, and I left that in for maybe an hour. I put a shower cap on, a bonnet, and I put on two hood. I had on a hooded uh, sweatshirt, and I used my jacket hood to uh, retain the heat. Um, when I took that down, I then went to the shower and shampooed the deep conditioner out, and I used my Aussie Moist conditioner to uh, detangle my hair, which was very much detangled at before I even washed it because of the deep conditioner. I will be trying to do that every two weeks because it's cheap, one, and it um, makes your hair just feel a lot better. When I did blow dry, my hair was unbelievably soft. Um, so that was yesterday, and then I slept with my hair in a bun, and I used my bonnet um, to sleep with, and I woke up this morning, my hair was very much still detangled and poofy, so I wore it back in a ponytail for a while, and then I decided to flat iron my hair for the last um, few days of 2011. Um, my New Year's resolution is to stay away from heat as much as I can and leave my styles in for at least two weeks. Um, the braids that you've seen, the individuals were in for two weeks, um, two weeks, two and a half weeks, and the braids prior to that, I had not shampooed before I put in the individuals, so it was another week prior to that, that I, so it's been a total of three weeks um, since I shampooed my hair, and so today was the only day. The other days were co-washes, and so, and I did find a lot of new growth and I noticed that when I was flat ironing there was like that much thickness like just the root was like bow you know so it was made it hard for me <laughs> to get it straight but I did get it straight I used my Revlon titanium plated flat irons I just bought them today and I must say that I am very pleased um you know, have an afro textured hair for a 4B, you find yourself struggling to find a flat iron that's going to um, get your hair the straightest that you need it to be, um, depending on what style you're using, and along with um, uh, uh, nice plates like these. Um, this is the first time I've used a nicer flat iron. Usually I would use my mother's, um, like, uh, con air or something, but it was like golden plates, and they were really bad and dirty. So this is brand new. Um, but for heat protectant, I did, um, well, first, I used this deep conditioning treatment, or not deep condition, Grow Strong strengthen, Strengthening Treatment by Cantu Shea Butter to detangle my hair with my Big Tooth Comb. Um, that was, I detangled each section before I began to flat iron. Um, between uh, flat ironing each sections, I would spray my Tresemme Thermal um, Heat Tamer Spray to provide heat protectant. And uh, I used the rat tail and comb. Um, I combed out each section. I didn't do the chase method. I just combed out each section um, from uh, from the ends up to the roots with my um, smaller comb, and I parted as well with the rat tail end of the comb. Um, as far as the amount of 
hair I lost. You can even see that. It's very little. Um, I don't know. This is like, I think this is just like normal hair because I didn't find any, any knots or anything like that. I didn't hear any, you know, that heart and you can't get the flat iron through. I didn't hear that. I did try to kind of bend a little bit, but it's kind of harder with the longer pieces of my hair. And, um, so yeah, I'm very happy. Um, this is probably the last time you guys will see me use a flat iron in at least six months because I'm planning on waiting until, um, you know, I'm really not even going to flat iron in the summer because just because of the weather's going to be hot already, I'm going to try my hardest to start doing uh, braid outs using castor oil to seal in the moisture because it's a thicker oil and I feel like it would give me a lot of slip. Um, I do want to let you guys know if you're following my channel, I do not encourage you to flat iron your hair just because um, it is damaging to your hair but this is something that I choose to do as a natural person um, if you do choose a flat iron hair make sure you're using a heat protecting even if you blow dry I have started using this to blow dry my hair it's, it smells really good and it is very good for um, protecting hair from heat I don't know this is like my third or fourth time using it it's really good um as far as parting my hair and clipping, I use these clips to clip my hair, and I also use these clips. Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, have a blessed day and Happy New Year. Thank you.